Eccoci, 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 tornati per un nuovo episodio di Double Face, nello specifico il numero 11 del podcast, il podcast che torna ovviamente con la mia presenza, ma soprattutto quella di Veronica Angeloni. Ciao Veronica! Ciao a tutti, avete visto che bellissima ospite e bravissima abbiamo, non è l'unica perché abbiamo anche una sorta di peluche vivente, ma non è importante, sigla, e poi torniamo. E eccoci dunque con l'undicesimo episodio di Double Face, il podcast della Savino del Bene, con Carol che ci è venuta a trovare, ma questo si legge nel titolo della puntata, lo sapevano già tutti i nostri amici, ovviamente con Valentino, che finalmente vediamo in video, ciao Valentino. L'avete chiesto in tanti, l'abbiamo portato, tanto come lo vedete lui questa è la sua massima vitalità, quindi non sarà un grosso problema, una grossa presenza qua con noi. Allora, giusto un paio di annotazioni prima di cominciare, eh, con Carol eh, che ovviamente viene dal Brasile e eh, capisce molto bene l'italiano. Un po', un po', no, molto bene. Ok, però lo capisci, eh, proveremo a parlarti un po' in italiano, dove non arriviamo con l'italiano andremo con l'inglese, ovviamente avremo i sottotitoli, quindi ci sarà la possibilità per tutti eh, di capire. Allora... Perfetto? Va bene? Grazie. Allora, let's start with a championship, because okay. we start every time with uh, our uh, Serie 1, our, uh, our championship. So, um, this weekend uh, an important victory uh, arrived against uh, Trentino. Uh, what game was it? Oh, it was really good. I mean, yesterday was nice to see, of course, I was out and helping the goals what I could do, uh, giving also the energy because this is important, but it was really nice to see how we faced the game. We know that we want to improve a lot, that to beat the best teams, we have to be one of them and then we have to improve every day. And yesterday I could see this in the court, everybody was so focused, you know, we are trying our best all the time and Trento also had uh, good opportunities in, during the match was a big rally, so something excited, but I'm really happy that we got those points and yeah, that we have this victory. Yeah, we need a victory after uh, the defeat against Conigliano mm -hmm. last week and we also, uh, after the defeat with Conigliano, uh, lost our third place in the standings, yeah. but our target uh, is to be back at the third place uh, yeah. and maybe, who knows, at the second, <laughs> we hope so. Uh, but our goal, our target is, is there, no? Yes, of course. Um, for me, I used to see step by step, game by game, you know, and then the Classifica, we can see in the end of the, the Andata or yeah. Tour. Yeah. Yes, and, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we can see in the end, but of course it's hard to play against one team that is in the top. You know, and we are trying to reach that, so we know that we have to be patient, but also we have to work a lot and show that on the court. And this one, this game was a little bit sad for us because we are not in our good moment, in our good quality or, you know, good um, perspective what we want to do in the court. We couldn't do it, but the good point is that we know that we can do better and we work every day for that, so I think the time will come. Okay, yes, okay. That's uh, what I th uh, think when you, when you speak is... Uh, uh, that you are really, really good player and uh, with a good energy. The the girls around you will tell about that. And what is your sensation? Is your first time in Italy? Okay. What was your expectative? And now that you you stay a little bit months, your sensation about Italian um, atmosphere, uh, girls, uh, teams, uh, everything. Yeah. What do you think? it's really nice. Of course, um, I've been watching Italian league. You know, because it's interesting and one of the best leagues in the world. Yeah. So I was aware a little bit and some friends also that played here. And uh, for me the important thing and to choose to come here was the level. You know, it's a really yeah. high level. Every game uh, you have a high competition, you know, and uh, this is good. And also to come to a team that has so many experienced players yeah. as Maya, you <laughs> know, and all the young, the youth team also that we yeah. have with so many potential it's really sure. nice so we have this mix of experience and youth 
that helps also to build a strong team and they are so nice you know everybody wants to improve yeah and i feel that this is uh, already one step forward that we do when we know that we are with people that wants to work that yeah. wants to develop and that wants to reach the top yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the power of will, no? The power of will. Yeah. If you want something, you have to take it, to yeah. achieve it. Uh, anyway, um, we start to talk about Italy, so I want to know more about your life in Italy, but uh, I want to know something about your career, because you stay in Brazil for a long time, then you have one season in Turkey, and then back to Brazil. Now, Italy, why your choice uh, um, to, to, to reach Europe uh, in the first place in Turkey and then to move in Italy? Yeah, I mean I was in Brazil back in time, like playing with Bernardinho, okay. one of the best coaches also in the world. And after that I felt that it was time for me to come to Europe and uh, see a different league. So I had the opportunity to go to Turkey and won also of the best leagues in the world to play against top players. And after that I had good opportunity to come back to Brazil okay. to, to stay one of the, not head coach, but assistant coach of national team. So this is also a step like thinking to go to Olympics, okay. you know, and to develop also in, in volleyball. So we come back there, we had a good job. Uh, it was five seasons at the same club and then the last one um, we are really happy because we could do it and win uh, the league. And then after that, thinking about national team again and this year is, is the Olympic year. And I said, okay, I want to go out of my comfort zone. You okay. know, I need a challenging and I think it will be very special if I can have that in Europe, in Italy because I know that uh, so many good players are yeah. there and I can watch them from far, from close and also I can play against them and I can develop, you know, I can be one step um, above what I want. Yeah. and uh, Even better for the Olympics, no? Exactly, yeah. e exactly. So I think here it's a better, it's a good ground for me to, to yeah. improve. I think it's really important to uh, go out from the comfort zone and uh, try to understand the different kind also for, to the practice, to, yes. the, to the game, because Italy yes. for sure is different from the other part yeah. of Europe or the world. So yeah. that's good. It's not easy, so you are a really <laughs> proud girl, yeah. but it's, that's a uh, it's yeah. important for the career. It's true, but as you told, you know, go out of the, your comfort zone if you think just about volleyball. It's not only that, because yeah. it's a different uh, culture, different language, different yeah. style of the coach, different teammates, you know, so you have to be flexible, yeah. you know, to understand how people work. It's not the way that you used to. So you grow a lot with that, you know, was what I wanted. Okay, okay. Good. About <laughs> your grown, I want to know something about your childhood, about okay. your uh, grew up in Brazil, uh, in Belo Horizonte, yeah. what you can tell us about your, your childhood, yeah, your youth. I you are born, still young. Huh? Experience. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in, in Belo Horizonte and then after I changed, I moved with my family for Santa Luzia, it's a very small city, and normal, very ordinary uh, childhood and just going to the school and you know, all playing sports in a public uh, area for okay. uh, for children and then I start with handball actually oh and I really like to play handball Palamano. si si <laughs> it was really nice but very aggressive so then I was more out, out, out of the court than inside because in handball you had got uh, two minutes if you yeah. beat somebody and blah yeah. blah blah so then I was like okay maybe I have to change sports <laughs> <laughs> and then was when my mom told me, like, we are watching Olympics, and then she told, oh, why you don't try volleyball, you know? So yeah. Uh, I said, yeah, mom, can be nice, it's pretty, <laughs> you know, we get so excited playing, and there is a net yeah. that we, we don't have yeah. to touch. <laughs> <laughs> no contact. No yeah. contact, exactly. No safety. <laughs> yeah, so it was good. And then it was normal, like, uh, just to go to school, go to practice. You know, not much to do. When you start to play and you start to see that as a career, you have to make a choice. Yeah. You know, so yeah. And yes. so when you understand that um, this this volleyball could be 
uh, your life when you think in your in yourself like uh, okay it's not uh, just a, a, a game mm -hmm. it's really maybe it's not a just job. for fun yeah yes. not just for fun when you you feel this uh when i moved to sao paulo because okay. then i have to leave my family i was 18 19 i finished school yeah. in Belo Horizonte and then i have to leave alone um. it was first time and then i was like okay you know so i had uh, uh, important players by in the club that I was, yeah. that was Pinheiro, so Fernanda Garay, Fabiola, <laughs> yeah. you know, I was seeing them there every day, practicing with them, and I said, okay, I really want this, <laughs> I really want this for myself, yeah. you know, it was this time. Um, okay, I, I got a, a question, but it's already answered it, uh, like, uh, how did you start to play volleyball, you tell us how, uh, but I want to know if you always wanted to be a middle blocker, or uh, something <laughs> that happens. <laughs> Something happens. I want to be position four, but then there is no way I could receive. <laughs> no but way. So that they try me as opposite, and then I couldn't defend. And then they're like, okay, my block was good for the time. And they say, yeah, maybe you stay in the middle. And I was like, no, but maybe center. <laughs> but you know, everybody that we make this question to middle blocker, there is no one that say, I will be middle blocker. <laughs> everybody think about other uh, rule. Yeah. I don't know why, but it's like uh, the sacrifice, the, the yeah. real sacrifice, because everybody say, I will be setter, yeah. I will be spiker, I'm yeah. a middle blocker. Yeah. <laughs> no. And after I got really happy with that, because you know, you're there in the game and then you learn also uh, how to be uh, important for the team, you know, because like, I really want to receive, yeah. but it's so hard. I say, okay, yeah. I can't. Then I do, okay, I'm middle blocker. It was mm -hmm. nice, it was nice. Okay, okay. And also, a lot of middle blockers are like uh, Veronica says before, uh, uh, say, uh, say, says to us uh, that uh, you have to run a lot yeah. and <laughs> sometimes <laughs> to jump all time. <laughs> uh, time and just sometimes setters give them choose, you, choose you no? and then when you don't jump they choose you and you're like oh my oh. god and you work <laughs> for the spiker yes, for the like, spiker that they be oh, free yeah. to make point yes. because every time you fly it's mine no. oh. <laughs> it's my joke. time no i make jokes with them and say half point is mine okay i like always <laughs> Also, the set of my Chris, she used to make this uh, this joke with me. She was like, always like, this was half point for you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Um, okay, uh, about blocking, uh, you are famous for your for your blocking. Like, no, on Carol is becoming uh, yeah. viral, uh, really popular. <laughs> no, on Carol. No, on Carol. Bucky, never. Oh, I love to block. Yeah, it was super funny. And um, I want to know if blocking is the part of volleyball that you like yes, more. Yeah. yeah, I like most blocking. It's uh, really nice, but I see block not only the block point, but okay. when we move together, you know, to have a good position court that you can have defense and you can have counterattack. So I see the global block action, but of course to have a, to give a monster block, yeah. it feels good. You know, and for us, for the team, this brings energy yeah, also. Sure. So yeah, it's uh, one of the the actions that I love most. Also, the the attacker. No, if if yeah. <laughs> uh, if there is a block, then maybe he's afraid to try another spike. Uh, yeah. So no, yeah, yeah. it's also <laughs> I think, psychological. Yeah, I think it's the most things that burn uh, when you. No, when you take check, give a block, when you if I spike and I take a block, is the most things that burn in my cell. Like, oh my god, we so, hate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really important. Yeah. It's really important. Um, I have one question. Um, uh, no, about I don't know if uh, Fabio no, 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 won't speak. Uh, no, 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 okay, go, 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 go. Because I go like to tell something. Uh, no, know something about you different. So about your first experience, because I think it's a really, really, really good and really powerful that you change a lot and comes in Italy. What do you think about Florence? Uh, you, the, your uh, sensation, your emotion around when you are out of volleyball, uh, your free time. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's so pretty city and calm also. 
uh, before I came here, I searched and everybody was telling me, uh, you're going to one of the most uh, pretty cities in the world, you know, so I was like, okay, uh, I want to check because I've been in Italy, but not in Florence. And it's really nice. I feel calm, you know, I really feel at home here. Yeah. Everybody's so nice, also in my neighborhood. It's calm, the people are friendly, yeah. you know, the food is really good. <laughs> Everybody yeah. asks to me like, oh, but you're vegan, you don't eat pistachio. Ah, I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, I say, no, but I eat another things, you know, and it's yeah. so good. I feel like it, it's fresh, you know, I like to go to the supermarkets. And like I said, the people are very, very open. I like okay. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so you, you you find yourself well in Florence. Yeah. Uh, how do you find on this? Ah, on also this, good. I will bring home. I don't know. I don't have a name. <laughs> but how do you find yourself uh, on this uh, on this stuff? This is cool, no? Uh, it's I cool. bring home. <laughs> I bring home. Then I can go to the supermarket. No, okay. <laughs> At the end of season, course, we season, have all yeah, we uh, all uh, the, the podcast to okay. finish. Yes, so uh, then, then it's okay. your. Okay. Okay. It's okay, Mario. It'll be a present. See? Okay, Mario. Okay. Mario agree. Mario <laughs> agree. Grazie mille. Uh, un regalo. Va ah, bene, perché Carol ci obbliga a fare la puntata in inglese, ma lei parla Paganissimo. benissimo l'italiano. No, no parlo, no parlo, non ti No, però capisci molto. Molto. Eh? 80%. 80%. 80%. 80%. Perfetto. And on the court, do you understand always also in Italian or uh, do you prefer that Massimo or Sandro or... Uh, use uh, English? No, I, I was really happy also to, to come here to work with Massimo and all of our city. They are our staff, they are really nice, I, I like them and I feel like okay I, I can also learn Italian from that and then I can understand everything that he says. It's just so funny because sometimes also a few times I make translation for Ah, for, for the other players, yes. okay. And then the, we laugh a lot and say, I think he told that. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. it's hard yeah. also because uh, when we speak Italian, we don't think about the, uh, to speak uh, slowly. Yes. We really eat the word and yeah. we don't understand that the people in front of us maybe don't speak so good. So yeah. we speak fast uh, also, yeah. Yeah, sometimes during the game when he wants to tell something and then he tells in, in Italian, then I was like, mm, I think he told that, and then I confirmed <laughs> with some other girls, or I asked her again to him, but you know, most of the time I understand. Yeah, then the, 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 the palace uh, is noisy, so it's harder to understand, yeah. so yeah. I guess it's normal. Yeah, also, you know, you have paying attention to yeah, the yeah, information, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. not yeah. only focus, like here, you know, I can understand, yeah. and then we can talk. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, there is a huge difference between the Brazilian way to play volleyball and the Italian way? Um, not big difference. I mean, in Brazil, we are kind of similar because we are not that high also, but we play a lot with block defense. Okay. So we have the same basis, let's say, uh, like this. But I think because here in Italy, you have a lot of foreigners also that mm -hmm. can rotate, then this yeah. increase uh, the level, of course, but there is the style of the coaches, you know, and this uh, chains. And one coach prefer like this, one coach prefer like that. So, yeah, it's interesting okay. to to observe and see that uh, you know there is volleyball everywhere in the world, and yeah. the culture are different, and it's nice to to learn and be able to play like this too. I, I want to ask, what is your sensation about Champions League? Yeah. What, what do you feel about this? Is it the second time you played also in Turkey? No, it's the first, first time. First, first time, time. So, champions. what do you think yeah. about this competition? Because it's really, you know, important also. Yeah. And uh, what is also your approach? Uh, because now you are in a, you are in a good uh, position. Yes. So, what do you? What, what are your expectatives about? Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, it's so important. I was happy also to have this opportunity to play Champions League. I've been Gabi, you know, she wins a lot. And I was like, okay, maybe this year we can give you some trouble, you know. I was telling to her, I say, wait for us, wait for Zabino, you know. And then uh, we see in the, in the final, and then she laugh a lot, of course. And uh, yeah, it's really nice. Now we play also against Azaji, we won twice, and now we have different games because yeah. this is very important. Sure. You know, for sure they have all their attention like they have uh, before, but now we put 
uh, like the most yeah. uh, intention, you know, to have because you know if you win, you want one step um, yeah. closer to what we want, that yeah. being the top. So yeah, it's sure. very nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's nice, it's nice, and it's a uh, thrilling, uh, amazing, you know, uh, to play in Champions League. Um, just few questions because we are running time, so okay. we, we, we have to run. Um, what about your roommate? Because uh, the last episode was uh, with Maya. Ah, okay. uh, she told us that you are the roommate yes, of her, yes. so what about Maya? Ah, it's really nice. I mean, it's so good and uh, such amazing opportunity to play with uh, Setter, you know, as her. And she has so much, so much experience you know in volleyball and in life also so yeah we have my roommate uh, we are very calm you know because also we have kind of the same style we sleep we drink coffee you know so it's nice feels good okay. all the girls they are so nice yeah. yeah she told us that the group is really really, really good and that's important yes because the first thing is, uh, I think, the feeling with the girls, so yeah. that's really important. And sometimes, you know, there is some uh, people that don't, they don't connect, and that yeah. is fine. But yeah. in this team is really good, I'm not saying, you know, just because we are here, yeah. And yeah, talking, yeah, yeah, you sure. know, but it, it's really nice. The girls are always helpful, you know, they, are, they like to work also, and then I, I feel really good. <laughs> okay, uh, do you want to make to do your question? The classic... The, 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 the common one. The, okay, allora. Uh, you have to know that there is uh, one uh, podcast question. Okay. Yeah. The podcast is um, if you prefer dog <laughs> or if you are a cat, cat person. I'm a dog person. <laughs> <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Scusate, lo dico in italiano, Fabio, cioè, possiamo allargare l'inquadratura alla faccia di Fabio, nettamente, cioè, nettamente schiacciato proprio, mi spiace. I mean, also cat is nice. Really, we, we are on the top. Oh, okay. so rivale. Sì, so rivale. Yeah, so rivale. Yeah. Dog are winning. Dog are, dogs are winning. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. We like, dogs I like nice all cats, animals. So. Also, I said to Anna, like, I want a pig. <laughs> Maybe a pig. <laughs> Big. Uh, big, like babe, uh, like babe, <laughs> you know what I mean, the cat <laughs> also, uh, but cute, no, but I prefer dogs, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> It's not the right question, but it's uh, you know the right answer, but it's okay. one answer. Uh, it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. We are it's different. Fine. Yeah, <laughs> we are we double phase, uh, and so um, okay. In your opinion, who is the best player in the world in women's volleyball, and who's wow. gonna win the Olympics? Wow! <laughs> bam, bam. Wow! In the last yes. minute, he start with the strong question. Bye. Best. I like. Bravo, Fabio. Like mi best. piace. Thank you. Best player in the world. Yeah. Wow. Maybe you'd kill if I tell Gabi. Gabi, it's okay. <laughs> Gabi can be, but also uh, seeing from now in close. Uh, Isabella Hack, it's a really impressive player, really impressive. Yeah. And also from Gabi, I know that she works a lot and she likes what she does. But um, playing against her, she has all shots, you know, and she's very fast and strong. So I think maybe now she is in the top. But together with all, you know, you have Boscovic, you have Egonu, mm -hmm. uh, so many good players, yeah. you know. Yeah. And it's difficult to choose one. Yeah. And sure. also not fair to choose only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a game, it's a game. It's, <laughs> it's a, a game. game. And it's a game, so I choose Brazil to win the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that I, I didn't expect uh, nothing different. Um, I have another one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you follow other sports? Yes. What, what's your favorite? I like to, to follow tennis. Okay. I learn, I'm learning now, uh, also with Anna, watching Breakpoint also, and it's really nice to have a lot of lessons to learn from individual sports. 
and I take that for me, you know, it's like a, a therapy when you're watching mm -hmm. them and then you're seeing their emotions. I think it's very interesting the way that they need to play for themselves, you know. So I, I'm really a big fan of tennis. I become a big fan of tennis and football because of my dad. So, you know, Galo in Belo Horizonte. And ah, so Atletico Mineiro. Atletico Mineiro. No Raposa, no, no Coelho. No. <laughs> Because I, I studied okay. in Belo Horizonte, there is three teams. Yes. Uh, Atletico Mineiro is Galo. Galo. Cruzeiro is Raposa. Si. And America is Coelho. Perfetto. Perfetto, okay. Because I, li I, li I like so soccer. Good. I'm Italian, come on. Okay. And uh, do you have a, an idol or did you add an idol in your. Yeah, I mean, since I, I start. Um, knowing more about tennis, I mean, Nadal it's uh, very impressive, you know, and uh, good athlete and to, to look to observe. And if you have also football players that Ronaldo. you can think, Cristiano Ronaldo and also no, Ronaldo, Ronaldo from Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. 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 Of course, no, no, the Brazilian one. Yes, yes. Yes. yes, and Messi also. I think we can we can have uh, like big idols from different sports. It's um, nice, Michael Jordan, basketball, you know, and uh, yeah. It's nice now, uh, Sabalenka also that she's yeah. growing her career, and it's nice to to see what she's doing. You know, the, the sisters also in tennis. I mean, it's uh, I I have you know people that I follow and I inspire myself on them. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we are uh, at the end of our podcast. Just the last. Uh, okay. For no, it's <laughs> different from volleyball because I like that the people at home yeah. okay. know something different yeah. to you. Okay. What is your favorite food in Florence? Oh, yeah. Typical. Yeah, something different. I eat. Uh, we were just talking about that, the rib ribolita. Ribolita. Ah, yeah. Fiorentina. See, yeah. that's perfect. That's yeah, perfect. That's fair. <laughs> like this, the the fans can bring to you ribolita. Yeah. yeah. If you <laughs> want <laughs> at the next yeah. game. <laughs> <laughs> Carol expects your ribollita, <laughs> and then Master Chef, you you yeah, you're gonna read uh, all the ribollita. Yeah, also, okay. but also pomodoro, it's really like pasta pomodoro here. I become a chef also because I have a yeah. restaurant. Yeah. Um, maybe we can do like pasta pomodoro and say okay, we can eat <laughs> because it's so delicious. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Simple but delicious. Yes. Okay, siamo arrivati al termine della puntata. Ah, cantante brasiliano. Have you a singer and a Brazilian singer that you do you prefer? I know one song. Mm. Amor, just a dash de você. Mama, I love it. Okay. Yes, I'm very eclectic. Okay. So I listen to everything, you know, I can listen to Tom Jobim, to Anita, you know, so I'm very, very eclectic. Okay. So if I have to pick one now, it's hard <laughs> to think. Also, I'm listening a lot to Ogilson's, it's kind of MPB, more um, popular Brazilian okay. music, and I like them a lot, so okay. yeah, I'll choose this. <laughs> <laughs> Andremo, andremo sicuramente a cercare su YouTube esatto, per, capire, sì, 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 per sì. capire che genere di musica ascoltare. Faremo un karaoke anche, you like karaoke? No, because no. I can't sing, I like to go but, to watch. But in karaoke it's not important to have a good voice. No. I'm a testimonial. No, you have just to make fun of yourself. Yes. Uh, ok. Davvero, siamo al termine, okay. anche okay. perché insomma abbiamo stressato Carol con okay. un sacco di domande, <ride> lei è stata molto carina, eh, noi ti ringraziamo oh, grazie, eh, grazie. per essere stata qui con noi, come a tutte le giocatrici facciamo il migliore augurio per un'ottima stagione, oh, che grazie. sia la più soddisfacente possibile grazie. per tutti. E vi ricordo ancora una volta l'invito a sottoscrivere, insomma a fare l'iscrizione al canale e attivare la campanella degli annunci perché così non vi perdete nemmeno una puntata del podcast. Veronica. È stato un piacere, continuate a seguirci, grazie Carol grazie. e Double Face. Ciao! Ciao!